Hey, hey everyone. Um, as most of you know, I'm moving, which means I need to move my hamster. The guinea pigs have already gone home, so I'm a bit late on doing a video for them. But I thought I would show you how I set up her um, carry box for travelling. So this is our box, this is the base. And that's the top. I'll show you once we're finished. And um, it comes from the Mick Trixie and it's for hamsters, mice and other small animals. I prefer to get one of these because I know that it's chew proof and piddle proof. Um, the first thing I want to say is I put in um, some bedding and a little bit of the recycled paper bedding that I use for in her actual hut in her cage. Put in a tiny bit of food because the chances are they're not going to eat anyway. And a couple of their favourite treats, hers are the mealworms. Um, so if I just show you what I do there. Now because she's going on a short trip, like between one and two hours, she's not going to, you know, you don't need to put in um, water. As we all know, well everyone who has hamsters, they are desert animals which means they don't actually drink that much. So even if she was a little bit thirsty during the trip, you know, it's not going to do her any harm. But for more than two hours, you want to offer them water or find some way of putting some in. The best way, I think, is to get um, a vegetable, like a cucumber, you know, or something that you're, you know your hamster likes because most vegetables are water-based. So if you put that in, then they're getting enough like this. Then I take some of the food and you want to make sure you put in pieces that you know they like so I'm going for some, a couple of the biscuits, some pumpkin seeds, um, sunflower seeds and one pellet, a nut and a piece of corn and I just put that all in one corner. I know some people like to spread that around um, because hamsters like to forage but when a, ha a hamster's travelling the chances are you've got them in a car, um, hopefully a car. <laughs> so if you can imagine yourself you, you don't get up and start foraging, you know you don't get foraging around you know when you know it could be moving like this. You do want to secure the box so that it's not moving around but you don't want your hamster to have to forage for food when it's in a really kind of strange uncomfortable environment. So I'll put in a little bit of food and I'm not sure if I could open this bag with one hand. Oh bear with me guys. Ah uh, yuck I don't want to have to open a bag of mealworms with the hands. These are mealworms. These are my hamster's favourite treat. So I'll put a couple of those in there as well. Um yeah, mealworms are great as they really like the taste of them and they get that animal protein because again, as we all know, hamsters are not vegetarian. So if you check on their food label, if it hasn't got pro like animal proteins, then you do want to either get them another food that's got it in it or just get them something like mealworms. So then finally, I shall put some of this recycled paper bedding in. Down there like that so she can make up her own bed. Here we go. And this is a uh, Pets at Home Recycled Bedding which is dust free, digestible, 100% recycled paper and biodegradable. I don't recommend using regular shredded paper because it's not digestible. It's not going to do them any harm but it's, you know, it's going to cause paper cuts. If you imagine sleeping in a vat of cardboard which is what it would be like for a human. So if I put the top on, sorry about that view of nothing, it's not easy with one hand, <laughs> it should just clip on, here we go. I wish this was easier and then I wouldn't be such a fool, well anyway, <laughs> okay, this 
can be done with ah, <laughs> this can be done with a few hands right and once it's on you can open the lid cheese whiz and you see your pet inside and there's holes all the way around here for ventilation and air and there's holes in the lid so hopefully Pip will have a nice trip home in her little box and maybe I shall do a video of that probably not because it would be kind of boring but yeah that's how I set up a hamster travel box basically I have a proper hamster traveling box not a cardboard one because it's not really safe um, for traveling any more than just going to the vet and there's food their favorite treats some bedding in the bottom their favorite bedding that they have in their house that they have in their cage and these are the products I use this is the the bedding made by smart pet recycled paper bedding mealworms and hamster food so I hope that was helpful and if anyone needs any more information on the carry box or any of the foods or bedding then just comment below.